Hello and welcome to the Marley Bird YouTube channel, brought to you by Red Heart Yarns. In this video, I will show you how to use the new and improved Pompadoodle yarn. That's right, the yarn you love with the little Pompadoodles already attached to the string is back and better than ever. The Pompadoodles are now a little bit fluffier than before and there's a little bit more string for us to work into because of the Pompadoodles. In this lesson, I will show you how to crochet with the Pompadoodle yarn. So grab your hook and yarn and we will get started. The nature of the pom-pom yarn is such that you have these pom-poms separated by four inches of string, and then you have another pom-pom. So as you are working along, you will only get stitches into the string. You will completely ignore the pom-pom. When we crochet, we will get two chains in between each pom-pom. As we single crochet, we will only get one stitch in between each pom-pom. To begin, you want to place your slip knot on the string between the first pom-pom and the next one, making sure it's as close to this first pom-pom as possible. What I like to do is take the string, wrap it around my forefinger, and when I come up, cross over, turn my finger, and then tuck that back loop in front of that front loop, or underneath that front loop, and pull up. And when I pull up, I try and do it in such a way that makes the slip knot as close as possible to this actual palm. Once you have the slip knot ready to go, we're going to place two chains between each section of pom pom. I'm using a size J or six millimeter hook today, but you will use a hook size that works best for you and allows you to get the number of chains or stitches you need between each pom pom. Once you've placed the slip knot on your hook, you will go ahead and completely ignoring the palm work with the yarn between the palm. So you will work your chain stitches just using that string between the palm. Now I've got the palm right up next here. I will ignore it, come over here to the next length of yarn, yarn over, and work my chain stitch. Make sure I give myself a nice size loop, yarn over, work my next chain stitch. And you'll see that brought up the palm again. I will ignore that next palm, go to the next chain length, yarn length and work a chain. Next yarn length and work a chain. And you would do this however long your project requires you to do the chain stitches. When you get to the length whatever you want, you can see what you've created here on the back of the palms is a series of chains. Can you see those chain stitches? Those chain stitches are what we are going to work into when we go back along, okay? In order for us to go up and turn, we're going to go ahead and do our chain two. So here at the end, I will go ahead and I will work a chain two and turn. Now this is tricky and you have to be a little bit patient here. Working back along these chains, you will be placing a single crochet. The chains look like this. There's one, there's one, so on and so forth. When you place your single crochet, make sure you skip your first two chains that you did to get to the next row. So I will go into that one. Remember I did two here, so I'm gonna ignore that palm. I'm gonna to work to the next strand of yarn. I like to kind of hold the palm in place so I don't use it. You see how I'm kind of holding it with my fingers that I'm not using. Yarn over, pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull that through. See how that ate up all of that string between these two palms? So yeah. now all I need to do is hold this palm and find the next chain stitch and work my single crochet in there. It doesn't really matter if you go through the front loop or back loop or both loops. Just complete your single crochet using only the strand between the palms. Okay. You kind of have to hold your work in such a way that you can see everything. So I just worked a palm or my chain into that chain stitch right there with the white and go into the next. Let's go in there and work a single crochet. So I just worked into that blue one and go into the next and work a single crochet and so on and so forth, okay? This just really makes it really nice and easy to work into, um, as easy as it can be for this particular yarn. You do have to 
fiddle with it a little bit and find your own way of holding the yarn. But what you're gonna see is you'll have this series of chain stitches and the string part is the part that's actually getting crocheted. And when we do that, our palm is flipped around to the opposite side. When I get to the end of the row here, I would go ahead and do my chain two and turn and work back. And because my pom-poms are always on the opposite side that I'm working, by working rows back and forth, I will get rows of um, palms going on, right? I'm gonna have them, uh, palms will be facing on this side, palms will come back on this side, and then go back on the opposite side, um, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Unless I was working in the round. If I were working in the round, all of my palms would all be on the same side, correct? Because I would always have whatever side I'm working on facing me. So I am to the end here. I'm going to make sure I'm at the very end. Okay, I would say that's my slip knot. So I'm going to go into that one right there just to make it absolutely secure. And this is one of those things that if you were off count at all, it's never going to show. The pom-poms are totally going to hide all of that, okay? So I'm at the end here. This is what it looks like on the back side. So this is what I've been looking at. If I turn it around, this is the opposite side. So you can see they're really all starting to pile up on each other. And I would go ahead and turn my work after I do my next chain two. So I did my chain two and I turn, okay? Now as I turn, this is a little bit trickier because now I'm looking at my palms. So I essentially kind of have to fold the palms down to find the string behind the palms, okay? And because each stitch is the single crochet, we just got one single crochet between each palm, we will easily find where that single crochet is. So there's mine right there, can you see that? And I wanna make sure I go into the next string, so I will, I'm going through both strands there. I'm not going through just the back loop or just the front loop. I'm going through both strands, but if you wanted to do just the back or just the front, you could. Now I'm going over here to the next, finding the next stitch. And again, you just kind of have to, to fiddle with the palms, move them aside, and they start to really stack up on each other, so on and so forth. Pretty cool, right? Once you get to the end of your project, all you'll do is finish off your work, tuck in your end, and you will be complete. This is a really fun yarn, and it does all the work for you. So go ahead, grab your hook and yarn, and let's have a little bit of fun. I'm Marley Bird, proud spokesperson for Red Heart Yarns. Thanks. Everything you need to know about knitting or crochet can be found right here on the Marley Bird YouTube channel. Learn with Marley Bird. Visit youtube.com forward slash Marley Bird.